Thank you so much for your help in supporting our film, Bella. Very rarely, if ever, does a film come along that has the potential not only to touch people's hearts, but actually to save lives. I wanted to share a quick story with you. This is a letter we received in the mail recently. It says, it is confirmed. Someone I know took her friend to see Bella in Wilmington, Delaware in the fall of 2007. Her friend had scheduled an abortion. Coming out of the movie, she said she wasn't gonna have the abortion and canceled her appointment. It goes on to say, the baby is due June 2008. We call this letter number 13. That we know of, there have been 13 babies who were scheduled to be aborted, whose moms wound up seeing our film Bella and thereby choosing life. On May 6th, the DVD of Bella is out in stores. We've developed this thing called the Bella 10 campaign, and it's very simple. All we need is everyone who's watching this video, if you can simply commit to pre-order the Bella DVD on Amazon.com and recruit 10 other people to do the same, for them to order the DVD and get 10 people to uh, order the DVD. If we do this successfully, we know that Bella can reach such a broad audience that hopefully it can not only inspire more people, but hopefully save more lives. There's one quick story that we wanted to share as to how this happened uh, previously. Lead actor and producer of Bella, Eduardo Barastegui, has a quick story that he's going to share with you. Two weeks before I was making this film, the director called me from New York, are you rehearsing? I told him, I, I, we don't have the actress. So my character is very quiet and he listened. But I, in order for me to rehearse, this role, I needed to do it with the actresses. So I ended up going to an abortion clinic. When I arrived that morning, I forgot about the film. I was in shock when I saw all these young ladies, 15, 16, 17 year old girls going in with their faces, with their tears, that I was so frustrated because I wasn't trained to do anything. So then I saw this little group outside trying to convince them not to do it. So I just tell them I'm here to help. Next thing you know, this lady came to me from the group and tells me, you know what, this couple, they don't speak English, you wanna to talk to them? I mean, I jump like, like, oh, ay, 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 what am I gonna? I didn't wanna sound like, a, oh, I didn't know what to say. So I said, uh, you know, um, sure. Next thing you know, they were in front of me. This couple, very, very poor from Mexico, from Puebla, they didn't speak English and they recognized me from the soap operas. All of a sudden I end up talking to them for like 45 minutes about life, about faith, about Mexico, about their dreams, about their jobs, about everything. I gave them a little teddy bear and I gave them a little uh, carriola. How do you say carriola stroller? She started crying and they left. They didn't go in. Finally, I moved to New York, I finished the film, and when I came back to Los Angeles, I received a call months later from the man who was with her. Eduardo, this is Javier, and I have great news. My boy was born yesterday, and I want to ask you permission because I would love to call him Eduardo. I just put the phone down and I couldn't even talk. It's the most, most noble thing I've ever done in my life. It changed my life. It was, a, it was beautiful. When I went to the hospital and I met the baby, and weeks later, I was having Edwardito in my hands. It was beautiful. And by the grace of God, I was able to save this baby. As Eduardo has demonstrated, this film has the potential to save lives. And so we're relying on that. We're working on this film as if lives are dependent on it because we know they are. Please, to help out, go to www.bella, B-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, 10 campaign, bella10campaign.com. And all you need to do again is simply pre order the DVD on Amazon.com and get 10 others to do the same and pass it on. With your help, we can make a huge difference for this world and hopefully change the hearts and minds of so many people and thereby save 
not hundreds, if not thousands, maybe who knows how many lives. Thank you so much and God bless you.